Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we are having a look at the new Ableton Live 12.2 update, which just got released. We got a bunch of new features, and in this video I will be going through my two favorite ones. Let's start with the new auto filter first. Auto filter got a fresh look with some nice new features. Let's just play it on a serum. First, you can see that we now got the frequency spectrum, which is a huge game changer in my opinion. Also, we got new filters, like for example, the comp filter. You can play around with the resonance here and morph it. There's even a drive knob. Great for metallic sounds. Let's enable an LFO. Yeah, this is great for sound designing in particular. can also clip the signal, lower the volume, there's a dry and wet knob, and of course the envelope filter. There's also a vowel filter, which is great for growls. I can't wait to experiment with that in sound design sessions. This is pretty, pretty, pretty fun to experiment with. You can even select rhythms. Also a DJ filter, which is basically like a band pass in both directions. A not and low pass filter. A resampling filter. And yeah, some other nice features to experiment with, like the spin, for example. I don't know what this does. You can select steps, so you can let this move in a particular way. But yeah, let's go back to a more good sounding sound right here. And this is basically all which is new to Autofilter. Of course, there are some hidden stuff as well, which I haven't featured yet or I haven't discovered yet myself. But uh, feel free to experiment with that in the beta, which you can download now. The other cool feature is that you can now do this. You can just press bounce to a new track. And then the audio file gets immediately placed into a new separate audio track without having to do this. Usually you would create a new audio track, press resampling, then record, or just freeze and flatten the sound, like this for example, bounce to uh, bounce track in place, which is basically freeze and freeze and flatten. And um, yeah, I think this is a huge game changer, um, especially for people um, whose sound design rely a lot on resampling, for example in dubstep, which is the case right here for me. And this will enhance my workflow a lot. Also, the auto filter is great for sound designing. And um, yeah, you just have more control and more features within uh, this great uh, stock device. And these are basically the two main features. There's also a new Max Live device for chords, which I will not feature in this video. And there's also some new stuff for the raw distortion unit. And there are also some other smaller updates to certain aspects. This is basically all it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Let me know in the comments um, what you are thinking of the new features like the auto filter or the new bounce to track thing. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one and goodbye. Have a great day.